Okay, so let's assume that you are designing a water project and one among the components that you are having in your project or of course the project that you want to design is a rectangular water storage tank. Okay, so in a simple language you need to, to model to prepare a model with a rectangular water storage tank of course in Epanet. Normally what, uh, what we do is that we, we open our software which for our case is Epanet then we start to enter all the components uh, that we need to prepare our model. So, the, so for our case, let's let's assume that we have this storage tank, and then we have some few junctions here, and this is our pipes taking water from the from the tank to this junction, and of course it is not. So the question here is if you click at this. A tank here so if I double click you can see that we have these properties or tank properties and one of them is elevation of course the other one is initial level but the most important here of course for our case is the diameter okay is the diameter you can see that we need to insert the diameter of our storage tank but remember we are dealing with here with a rectangular water storage tank so the question is how are you going to insert the diameter of rectangular shaped storage tank? Because we all know that mathematically, any rectangular shape it does not have the diameter. Okay, so mathematically that is how it is. So the question is, how are you going to insert the diameter of a rectangular water storage tank? So this is something that we are we are going to cover today. And if you are new here. As usual, my name is Ingenio Rodrik and this is Hydroinformatics Academy, a place where we discuss technologies related to water supply and irrigation. So if you are, if you are interested and if you haven't, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next part of this video. Okay, so to solve such a problem, I prepared some few examples just to show you how to go around such a problem. So, so the first the first example is this one okay so that so this is the first example and let's assume that we have a rectangular storage tank with the internal dimensions as follows so the first is length which is 15 meters and the other one is width which is 10 meters remember these are internal dimensions so so the first step here is to find the area of this rectangular storage tank okay so the area is it is length times width which is which is 15 times 10 so this is our area here okay so which is 15 times 10 and this is our area which is 150 square meters okay so the next important concept here is that we need to find the diameter of the cycle that has the same area as our rectangular storage tank Okay. Remember, to find the diameter of the cycle that has the same area as our rectangular storage tank. So we, we all know that the area of a cycle is pi d square or pi r square. So those are the formulas that we can use to find the area of the cycle. Okay. So what, uh, what, we, what we need to do is, is to take this area here, which is 150, and we equate it with our cycle. So for this first, uh, for this second formula, okay. So for this second formula, we take 150 equals to pi r squared. Okay, so 150 is equal to pi r squared. And again, we just make r the subject. So this is the value that we are going to have. So the r here will be 6.9. Okay, so 150 divided by, by uh, pi square root, then this is the value that we are going to have. Okay, so for now, what we are having is R, which is radius, which is 6.9. We need to use this value to find the diameter. The diameter here will be equals to 2R, which is two times radius. So we, we need to take this and multiply it with two. So it is two times 6.9 meters. So the, so the diameter will be 13.8. Okay, so for our case, Example number one, the, the diameter here is 13.8. So we take this uh, 13.8 and we insert it at our, of course, we we double click this uh, storage tank. So at this area here, we insert 13.8. At 
as our diameter. Okay, so example number two, let me open here, example number two. So let's say this is what we are having. Okay, so the same the same shape, which is rectangular storage tank. The length is 14. So this time the length is 15 and the width is 8. Remember, first step, we need to find the area of this rectangular shape a storage tank. So the area here is 14 times 8.5. Okay, so this is the area which is 119 square meters. Remember, we need to find the diameter of the cycle that has the same area as our storage tank. But the area of the cycle is given by pi b square divided by, uh, by 4 or pi r squared. So these are the formula that we can use to find the area of the cycle. What we need to do is to equate this area here, which is uh, 190, with any of these formulas. So for my case, I'll just opt to go with, the, with this formula number two. So I'll just take um, 119 square meters and equate it with a pi r um, squared. So we assume that our cycle has the area of uh, 119 square meters. Again, if I take this r here, I can see the r here is 6.15. So this is the radius. We need to find the diameter. Remember, the diameter is 2R, which is 2 times radius. So this is the value, which is 12.31 uh, meters. So the, so the diameter here is 12.31. Uh, I'll take this value and insert here. Of course, so let's assume that, okay, so let's assume just an example, I have this as another storage for the tank. So let's assume here the, the, the diameter of this tank now will be at this value, which is 12.31. So let me take here 12.31. So it is simple as that. Okay, so it is simple as that. So that is the end. And uh, if you get something out of this video, don't forget to hit that like button just to help other engineers like you to see this content. So that is it for today's tutorial. But before you go, I have another very detailed uh, infinite tutorial. It is written hydraulic modeling for loop water supply network, of course, by using Epanet. So just go there and uh, watch it. I'll just make sure that I link this video a uh, link to this video in the description below or in the first comment or somewhere uh, on this screen just click go there and hopefully you will get more and more knowledge on how to use a software that being said i'll see you there thank you